Learning how to lead people and work through people, that's part of the entrepreneurial journey. So as a growing business, learning how to work through your team as you get bigger is critical or else you won't sustain that growth or you won't sustain that strategy you have and empower them, train them and keep investing in them. My name is Chad Brick. I am president of the Eastside Group of Companies. Joined here after going into uh, accounting for about 10 years at a public accounting firm and made the move to take over the family business. My dad started it in 78. We make fiberglass parts using various manufacturing principles. We also do uh, A-class uh, industrial coating. So we paint anything from uh, a new flyer bus component, uh, Polaris snowmobiles, Indian motorcycles, Bueller Versatile, Macdon, and Kawasaki components. So we're painting for a lot of A-finish uh, clientele. In the last 10 years, we've, we've grown seven times from our original size. And in 2022, we're looking to to double up one more time and we're putting more and more people through training to support that uh, because you have a bigger team, you have that much more people that need guidance and training and direction and that much more to manage and you need those tools to manage the team effectively. So training is a really big part of, of what we're about here. CME, they, they are leaders at what they do. We started off just taking like a little executive lean course and learn about 5S. Then as we started getting into larger and larger uh, clientele and, and production volumes, the, the need for single part flow and the ability to chunk up what you're doing uh, became more and more important. And a lot of the processes that we do are hands-on, so they've really taken that concept and made it a hands-on approach with, with a lot of classroom time so people understand, have a sense of meaning for why are you doing this, what are you doing it for, and, and where is it going to go. But then you do a hands-on project and you actually see what a proper executed project looks like and that's where you get the buy-in and that's where now they know the methodology because they did it once how to do it and it's repeatable and and it happened in, in your workplace while you're getting this education. The nice thing about CME is it's, it's by manufacturers, it's for manufacturers. A lot of the CME team they're from the, the manufacturing market and they understand what's going on in the market and, and what kind of training people may need to stay in the market. It's easy to have these, these, uh, this vision or these values at the top and, and start pushing it, but when you start getting it from the ground up, from the team, that's when it gets really powerful. And now they're, they're pushing you to make the right investments as a leader to make it safer, make it, make it more effective. They, they now have a, an impact on their work environment. And, and when people feel that and they have more control, they're, they're way more bought into the company and, and realize that the company wants to do better and people, the people who know the best ideas are usually the ones doing it hands-on. You get a way more empowered labor force, a way more empowered team, and then you have managers trained to try and pull those ideas out of staff and, and acknowledge them for bringing them up. And staff feel like they can make a difference and they come to work and they feel like it's their work now, not just a job. And that's the biggest thing right now is, is investing and, and empowering your people to, to want to come to work, to feel like they're part of something. And it's not just a job, it's a career and it's a family and we're gonna look out for each other and we wanna make sure that we have these jobs for years to come and support the families that, that are being supported by this place.